While the association's main focus is to assist and empower senior immigrants in America, we also do our best to reach out to those in Afghanistan living under poverty. In order to help rebuild Afghanistan and improve living conditions, our seniors collect donations from the community by holding fundraisers, which they then send to Afghanistan. Over the years, the Afghan Elderly Association has been able to send and raise over $30,000 in donations to Afghanistan through various sources, including children of war, Kabul refugee camps through Ramazan Bashar Dost and Tahmina Hamid, Innovation Democracy, and Kabul Orphanage through Khayyum Qarga. We are at the Matt Jimenez Community Center, where our Hayward Healthy Aging program takes place every Thursday. <laughs> Allah. <laughs> 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 And I seen all this, the progress since uh, month of October up to now, and I see the blood pressure actually is coming in, in, in toward normal. Uh, their blood glucose has changed, and some of them that they they were in a 300 range of blood glucose. Now I see that those people is uh, some of them at 207 now, wow. or some of them within the normal range of 70 to 110. And the pain level actually decreased also beside, because of the, they are, uh, start exercising on a regular basis. I monitor the food right here and I, uh, I see that uh, they took my recommendation and uh, using uh, olive oil or canola oil. So how did you decide that you wanted to get involved with the Afghan elderly on a complete volunteer basis? When I graduated from school, I said, okay, this is now the time to give back to those that um, they need me. Uh, my country gave me a lot. Who I am today is because of what I was born and I, ra I was raised. So this is a time to give back, yes. Oh, we really appreciate you. The community is receiving it well, the Hayward community? Uh, yes, it does. Community does receiving it very well. Um, and the reason is because Freeman location was a little bit far for uh, some of the mothers and uh, mothers that they were going. And uh, since they have it here, they like to come here much closer. And as you can see, there's a, it's a lot of people are attending. You know? Yes, it's a, it's a big crowd here today. I see. Yeah. Yes. Kokorushat shemo khala najiba shemo. As wakte ke in program he ward mo healthy aging program he ward shuru shuda shemo siar regularly mian in the program mo amesha. Chakha tabirat shemo kokorushat. رویات خانم تان دیدین که چقدر برشان فایده کده این پرگرام و چه تو مفید ثابت شده بر خود شما ما تغییرات زیاد خود بر خانم میدنم ما خود یک مرد هستم تمام روزم در بیرون هست یا کار هست یا اولادا را بردن آوردن هست و یک خانم خانه همیشه در خانه کار و بسیار زود چرا که یک تشویش بسیار کلان دیده است طرف بچه گرد خود که خداوند ببخشه بچه شهید شد و از او خاطر ما خواستم که از این خبر شدم که شما ایت یک پروگرام یک کمیته را اینجا جور کردین ما گفتم باش که از این حالت داخل خانه برای به امرای دمی کمیته باشه صحبت ها با خانم ها با با اعضای کمیته شما با شما و با دیگر ها یک جای صحبت کنن و بشنن و قصه کنن و راز دل کنن و چیز وقت هایی که در دلشان هست همه بیرو برای کنیا یک تغییر برای که خدای نخواسته این را اینترست 
یا دپریشان یا یکپونه اگر بود و من خودم ما بسیار خوش شدم ما تشکر چونه ما ما بسیار خوش هستیم ما میبدیم این برنامه که ما یادها خاطرات در زندگی در فامیل همه گی با هم صحبت میکنم مادرای اینجا همش کل کیشون یکی یک تشویش دارن تشویش روی دارن تشویش دور از وطن است دور از اولاد است دور از هر خیش قوم هر کس هر جای افتاده وقتی که اینجا من اونو قصه ها رو هم شان میکنن و همی تماما امو دشاوشات که دارن اونو دور میشن و در یک فضای دیگر میان زندگی میکنن تا هفته دیگر باز که میان با هم اما تو به میشکم پیش خوشحالی <laughs> that there is a need for an Afghan elderly association. If you can briefly tell me how it, did it all start? Um, <clears throat> this is a, uh, actually this is a very um, uh, big story, you know, so it comes from uh, a big background, but uh, I would like to uh, explain to you very briefly so that in 1991, I was a new arrival in the United States and I was working with the International Refugee Tutorial Services in Fremont as a Mr. Volunteer. So the president of the board, Dr. Patricia Ahmedian, she asked me to provide ser interpreter services for her to uh, interview the Afghan seniors for her research project, you know, leading towards her PhD. So in the beginning, I thought that our seniors in, Afga in here in the United States, they are very happy and they have a wonderful life and because their life here is much, much better than Afghanistan. But unfortunately, when I uh, interviewed them, I got a very um, uh, opposite uh, response from our seniors in the community. So it makes me very upset and I was so worried about them. And then I talked to Patricia, I said, Dr. Patricia, I would like to help my seniors, so, because I don't know why these people always cry. And then she told me that uh, these people are isolated and they have depression and stress. And I said, what is the meaning of isolated? What does stress and depression mean? Because I was near arrival and I was not familiar at all with these words. And then she explained it to me, and I was kind of very disappointed and have sympathy for my seniors. I said, I, at least I should do some things for these people. So what I did, and she told me that, okay, uh, what do you want to do? I said, let me find my way what to do. And then she organized, and uh, 
um, set up a meeting with uh, Mrs. Susan Schoenfeld, the Director of Human Services Department of City of Fremont. And uh, Susan helped me a lot. And then she, she uh, I was a volunteer with all my work. So what we did, we start our monthly health aging program at the Senior Fremont Senior Center, you know, mm -hmm. like a gathering. Yeah. So we started with 12 people, 12 seniors, and that was immediately increasing. In a few months, that was increased to 60 people. Wow. So that was, uh, I was kind of very shocked at how much these people needed. And, and then what year was it, sorry? That was in 1995, oh, okay. November 1995, that was initially started okay. with 12 people. And after that, in 1998, I received my nonprofit status. And then I started applying for funds, you know, for, for grants to different foundations. In 2000, I received a very small grant from Kaiser Permanente. That was my first, first grant that I received mm -hmm. from Kaiser Permanente and still continuing till now. I really appreciate it there. So I, what I did, I, then I started our weekly health aging program, which is still continuing. And then I, I had a contract with Alameda County Area Agency on Aging, Congregate Mill Site, so for the expansion of the program. So the program is still going on. and. Uh, People are so happy with their socialization and everything. If you can just give me one overall positive outcome that stands out, what would it be? Uh, actually, the, the, there is a lot of great outcomes mm -hmm. because, uh, and I'm very so proud of everything, you know, because uh, I can see it from the beginning to now, the difference that is, that is I can realize that. The first thing that I'm so very proud of it is the building their relationship in the community, mm -hmm. which is very strong now. So they didn't even know each other, but now they are, they are all friends. Mm -hmm. The other thing is very uh, important that they are very brave now to make their own decisions, which is, that makes me very proud. They use the public transportation, they can go walking around and they invite each other. And they are not very dependent to their families at all now. They are very independent. Wow. So that is, makes me very uh, uh, happy. Another thing that this socialization program keep them to reduce the isolation and depression most of those women always telling me that if this program was not existed, yes. Yes. they would be already in the nursing home. Wow, well, that's very strong. I mean, right. I know that you've um, started working on an expansion program of the AEA, and particularly in the cities like Hayward. It's a very new project you started. How is that going? We approached, you know, we approached from uh, Hayward, this was earlier this year, earlier of this year. Mm -hmm. So we approached uh, by several uh, uh, seniors that they're living in Hayward. They're very low income mm -hmm. people too. So they requested if they have the same health aging program that we already exist in, like in Fremont. So what I did, I, we immediately started to take actions, you know, to, to establish something for those people that because they are really needed. And then with the help of Recreation Department of uh, Hayward, so um, we started our program, weekly health aging program, and uh, month, 